And then people can also then go on to some smaller houses where they can try out that living independently, moving into training, employment and education, uh, being free from being dependent on benefits uh, and dependent on other people. So finding out what, what they're good at, um, what they can give back to their society. My role is looking after supported accommodation, move on accommodation for the charity, um, which uh, is across West Kent um, and is abstinence based shared accommodation um, for after when people have been into projects such as the house here at Yielding. Um, under guidance, if you like, from my key worker here, uh, which is living in Maidstone. Uh, the programme continues, it's like a bridge to normal life. In our Move On projects, we offer one-to-one -one support with our residents. Um, we also offer house meetings with the residents um, and they'll, they'll be able to get peer support in those meetings. So not only will they have a support worker who will work with them and offer them support, um, they'll also be able to offer support from, their, from each other. The key thing we're about is transforming lives, making a real difference to people, not, not only individuals but to their families and as I say to whole communities because we know that the effects of drug and alcohol addiction are devastating uh, and, it, and it ripples out far and wide beyond just affecting the individual. My role in particular is, is really just trying to ingrain that people actually can get back into society and can get back into the community and actually it is a realistic option to get a job and it is a realistic option to be retrained in another area you know and actually you don't have to give up and your life doesn't have to be dependent on benefits and relying on social housing the rest of your life. Actually, you can make your own life yourself and you can move where you want to move to in your life.